Hello, this is Pamela. Welcome to my channel. Grab you a cup of coffee, sit back and relax, and enjoy some yarny goodness. Hello, this is Pamela, and you are on Pamela's Adoring Crochet. Welcome to my channel, and I'd like to say sit back, grab you something to drink, relax, and let's just enjoy some yarny talk. Well, today's video is a very special video, or at least it is to me, because I have a big announcement, guys. Um, okay, let's see if you can guess. I can't wait anymore. Looky here. Looky. Blessed to be called Gigi, my ba my daughter is having a baby. Yes, it's gonna be my first grandbaby, and um, she's eight weeks. And um, she bought me this T-shirt. <laughs> so now I get to um, start making all kinds of baby stuff. So the um, the little baby blanket that I was making for the Annie's caring kit is now going to be my grandbaby's little uh, blanket. <laughs> um, it's gonna be the receiving blanket. And oh my gosh, it's just, I just can't quit searching the internet for baby things to make. It's like, and my daughter, she keeps finding all kinds of stuff and we're just like going back and forth. She had, um, her first pregnancy was a tubal pregnancy. And so, um, this one, when she found out that she was pregnant, they wanted to see her pretty early, you know, to make sure that the baby's where it's supposed to be. And so um, she actually went in two weeks ago and found out, you know, that the baby was there and the heart rate, heart rate was like 108. And, um, but, she, you know, she didn't really want to let anyone know till she actually had her eight week checkup. And so, yeah, so she got me this t-shirt and um, the heart rate was 153. So, and they said that the baby's got little arms. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. So, yeah. Um, so I'm super excited. <laughs> um, but yeah, okay. So now that I'm a Gigi, I'm a Gigi, I'm a Gigi. So, <laughs> Okay, I hope you guys are as excited as I am. And uh, so I guess now my life's about to change. <laughs> um, okay, so I'll show you what I have. I have some happy mail that um, that I have received and I've had it for two days and I've just been going beside myself wet, wanting to open it, but I emailed her to make sure that I can open it up on uh, video, you know, and, um, and she said it was fine. And so, thank you. Her name is Lori Armstrong. Yay, thank you. And I'm so excited about that. So, I'm, I'm going to open hers in just a second. Uh, but I was going to tell you that, um, let's see. I have a whip. And I have one, two, three, four, five finished objects that I want to show you guys. Um, okay, so I'll start with the easiest thing of all. Because you guys know um that I was working on this baby blanket. So I'll just show you, cause now it's gonna be for um, my life grandbaby. And um, so yes, yeah, the corner to corner. Here we go. Here it is. That's what it's done so far. Yeah. <laughs> um, all right. This is, so far that is, um, the second, yeah, the second one on this. The second skein, I guess you could say. Um, okay. I can't quit smiling. I mean, this is just so exciting. So exciting. Um, I hope I can get through this video okay. Because <laughs> I'm so proud to announce this. Um, okay, so it was called the Annie's Caring Kit. 100% acrylic, 300 yards, and three light is what I am using. Isn't that just beautiful? So, yeah, she said that um, 
if it's a boy or a girl, she is kind of looking at the gray and white, like the chevron look, the elephant and things like that. And then depending on if it's a boy, she's gonna add the navy blue in it. And if it's the girl, I don't know what color. She, I don't know if she said pink or what, I don't know. But um, so yeah, so she, she wants a chevron, a gray and white, like a, hmm, like a light gray and white chevron baby blanket to hang over the crib. And then depending on whether it's a boy or girl, then we thought maybe we could just crochet something and I would just, um, you know, put it on the, like the end of the blanket. <laughs> so anyway, so yeah, that's where we are with that. Okay, so that is my whip. And um, so I'm going to, I guess just kind of move that out of the way. All right, so I want to open up the Happy Mail because like I said, I've been holding this for uh, two days. And so it came in this little box right here. Thank you, Lori. Um, yeah, so here's the box. <laughs> I got all kinds of stuff to be happy about today, guys. I hope you guys are happy with me. Um, I've just been dying to see what's in this box. Looky here. Whoops. <laughs> the back side. <laughs> and I'm also trying to not, to not talk too loud so I'm not disturbing my husband and stuff in the other room. <laughs> but, yeah. Lori, that is so sweet. Yeah, I like that. That is so sweet. Yeah, um, I think I'm going to try this right here, here in just a little bit. Yeah, so thank you for that. All right. Oh, it's just extra padding. <laughs> But it's extra padding, but it's a bag that you can use, so I like the extra padding. That's a good idea to keep those right there. Looky here. Right. Uh, oh, let me show you real quick before I get it out. I didn't show that up close. Look at the sticker on there. Isn't that cute? Lori, I don't think I'm as creative as you are. Oh. Oh. Looky there. Ah. Enjoy the ride. Ah. <laughs> I love it. That looks like the bike that I used to have whenever I was a kid. Y'all remember the uh, banana wheels, uh, the banana seats that we called them back in the 70s? <laughs> oh, and there's chocolate in there. Now, some of these have melted, but uh, some of them haven't. So, I still, the Hershey's Kisses inside there. Some have melted and some haven't, so. But some of them are sticking to the side of the cup. <laughs> so, I will um, dig those out. Yes, thank you, Lori. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Now, I'm actually gonna drink out of this thing. It is not gonna be set up to be looked at because, um, yeah. Thank you. Let you guys see it again. Thank you, Lori. Um, I appreciate that. Like, I don't know, like a whole, whole, whole lot. <laughs> and I love your little presentation of the little bag. I mean, the little tissue, that's cute. Okay, so I'm going to set this to the side. I think when I get in there and get this all washed up and get the chocolate out of it, I am going to try the orange tea with it. And uh, I'll, I'll probably take a picture and put it on the Facebook group page, Lori, so you can see it. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna be Gigi. 
<laughs> okay, so um, here's the other thing I made. You guys know that I made the little mouse. Well, I made another one. And the reason I had to make another one is because my niece uh, is going to a baby shower uh, this Sunday. And she saw my mouse, other mouse. And so she was like, um, I've got a baby shower to go to. And I bought the, the, um, the mother a gift, but that mouse would be so cute to add to the gift. And I was like, okay, you know, so I made her one. So this goes to my niece, Ashley, to give as a little um, gift to go along with her gift. <laughs> and um, so just in case, and I will leave the link below because I did talk about this in another video. So I don't want to spend too much time on it, but there it is. It's the donut mouse pattern and it's a free pattern. Uh, paintedcolorful.blogspot.com and she has tons of other stuff. So I will leave uh, that link below. But look what else I made. I made this for my grandbaby. Looky, looky. You know that's adorable. Since she's doing elephants, this is by the same lady. Look at that. Yep. That's going into the baby's room. Yay! Um, and then I may make another one once we find out what it is and then make another heart, uh, the color, whatever my daughter chooses. <laughs> but um, my niece liked it, and so she wants to give one as a for that part of that shower gift. So guess what? I made two of them. So she wanted a yellow heart, and then so I made my daughter's with the mint green. So there we go. It looks like I made the yellow hearts a little higher up. <laughs> but it doesn't matter. Um, anyway, so that is two more finished objects, guys. Um, I just used um, Nicole Studio by Nicole yarn. Uh, that was like a light gray in those, and that's all I used on that. Um, they both used an E 3.5 millimeter hook. So I used that, and here's the pattern for it right there and i'll leave the link below to that one it this guy's was super duper easy i mean i whipped them things out in no time i actually thought they were easier to me than the mouse the mouse was it was easy but i had a hard time getting these right and this um the elephant i mean it just flew off my hook so i really like that um let me put those over here, get them out of the way. But yeah, so that's what my niece is gonna be given. <laughs> okay, um, okay, and you'll be proud of me. Look, I finished. That's Mrs. Claus. I could not make her in the colors that were suggested because I did not have flesh colored skin yarn and her this was supposed to be white and I didn't want her face white and her apron white and everything just, you know. So I went ahead and just did this, this color. And um, I didn't realize it, but that's the back side. I actually put her, put her head up. Mm, well, that's right. But somehow I ended on the front side when I did that. And I was like, ah, and that just kills me, just aggravates me. I tried stretching it out. But I know for you guys, it's not going to be, you probably say, ah, it's no big deal, Pam. <laughs> but anyway, so there she is. And there's Santa. This is what I've gotten done so far. And there's Rudolph. So there we go. <laughs> Her mouth looks kind of creepy. <laughs> but anyway, it's a lot of fun to make. And then there's the backside. Let's see. There we go. And she's supposed to have these little designs going across her dress. And I tried making the design. I was like, you know, it ain't going to happen. Me and that design is just not going to happen. So I was just wondering about her mouth. She kind of bugs me. Does she look a little bit more friendlier now? <laughs> anyway, so that's um, Mrs. Claus. So... I did have fun with that. And the one that I'm working on next, I will leave a link below where to get this on Amazon. There's my bookmark. I am working on this one next. I've already got the yarn poured out. I'm just using Caron Simply Soft 
for um, that. I happen to have that same exact color for the in the Caron Simply Soft. Um, as a matter of fact, that is what I used. Um, not for all this. This was all Mandela yarn, but her face was Caron Simply Soft because um, I didn't have any. I didn't even have any white yarn, you know, even in the Mandela. So. Anyway, so it all worked. I mean, her, she looks pretty proportioned, I think. Anyway, so that was a lot of fun. Um, oh, yeah, I was going to tell you what hook size I'm using for that. Um, let's see. A 3.25 millimeter hook is what I'm using for that. And I have a clover hook, yeah, for that. So, um, anyway, so I'll leave the link below. But this is the box, what it'll look like if you're interested in buying it. And then there's the characters. I did receive this at Christmas time from uh, my daughter. So, yeah, see, there she is. So, I did get the purple. It was a lighter purple. And then there's that design I was talking about. I just couldn't get it, and I was, like, done tired of it. I was like, eh, forget it. <laughs> okay, so there's that one. Oh, yeah, and for the baby blanket, I am using... A 5.0, that's an H hook for that. And I do plan on uh, doing a tutorial on the corner to corner uh, baby blanket. I may start with, because I want to do something small probably. So I will probably start like maybe with a washcloth or something. Because I've had a few viewers asking how you do that. And um, so yeah, so I'm going to be doing one. Okay, the other thing I have, because I have whipped through this whole counter right here. <laughs> um, I was just going to let you know that the shawl is finished and you can go. I have the tutorial up um, and I have the pattern listed on my doll clothes blog. I made a spot that says Pamela's Crochet Wearables. <laughs> it's very top, so you just click on that. And right now, this is the only thing I have on there. But I did have a list of all of the, um, what do you call it? All of my YouTube tutorials on there. So... <laughs> You can, you know, just click on that and I'll show you all my tutorials. But, uh, but yeah, so there it is. Yay! And, um, uh, Sabrina Milados and, uh, scrap a dap -a -do, I think it's CJ. Anyway, they were my testers. Thank you, ladies, from the bottom of my heart because I totally stink at trying, at, you know, sending out the pattern to be tested. I think I ended up sending them like four rounds and, um, yeah, and even when I got ready to do the tutorial, even though I had done that, I sent the tutorial, I started doing the tutorial and realized that I had wrote down the wrong count per row. Everything else was right, but their count, I, I was off by two. And, um, so I had to send that back to them. I mean, it's like, and these poor ladies, they just stuck right there with me. They didn't complain. They was like, okay, thank you. And just as sweet as can be. And Sabrina, she got on there. I saw her video today. It's about an hour long. So definitely get you some coffee and sit back and relax and watch her video. She's got a, it is jammed, packed full of good stuff. So uh, you're going to want to watch that video. Sabrina, I watched the entire thing, lady. The entire thing. Um, but yeah, so she showed this off and I was so proud of her. She did such a good job for me. And um, yeah, so thank you, Sabrina. Thank you, CJ. That just means the world to me. Um, that you guys stepped up and stuck with me. So, and like I said, that was my first time and to have testers to do something like that. I've always just done stuff on my own and, you know, I'm new. I'm a newbie. It's all there is to it. I'm just, I'm a newbie and I'm learning from this. So ladies, I hope that you will like, I hope I didn't stress you out to where you won't do this again for me because I really need you. You guys help me tremendously. Um, okay, so all that being said, go watch Sabrina's because she uh, does have showing this off, but she is showing some lots of other good stuff. Um, okay, so that is all that I actually have for this video, and I was going to make it short, and I see that I'm already at 19, over 19 minutes, and I really thought this was only going to be like a 15-minute video, but I think I was so excited about being Gigi and sharing it with you guys. But I haven't even shared it on my Facebook page, guys. I'm sharing it with you guys first. Um, okay, so 
our uh, Bible scripture. I'll leave the link below for this. If you're interested in buying this off Amazon, it's 365 days of um, prayer for women. Uh, but you know, the Bible's not just for women, so I don't know why they say that. It's called Deliver Me. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. Matthew 6, 13. Um, and then it says, you know, like, Lord, there is so much evil in the world. Every day a new danger, disaster, or form of depravity conspires to lure me from... I'm not the best at pronouncing words. So, guys, just if I mispronounce that word, just overlook it, okay? Please. <laughs> just not, I'm not the best. Um, to lure me from the peace of a life lived with you. It's tempting to give in, to worry, to fear, even to my own pleasure, and sometimes I do. But this is not your way, and yours is the only way I want to live. So please forgive me. And uh, anyway, it's, and it has some more stuff. But this book is so good. And I hope that that encourages you. And um, I hope that my channel inspires you and keeps you, gets you where you, um, you know, want to step out of your comfort zone and, and just crochet and do things and try new things. It's so fun. Um, so I'd just like to say thank you to Lori Armstrong and thank you to Sabrina Melodos and to CJ. Um, if I can say her name right, scrap a dap -a -doo crochet <laughs> with CJ. I love that, that title. That is really cool. Uh, but anyway, so that's all that I have today. And um, I will see you guys in my next video. Thank you.